for everyday carry, I've decided to get rid of these. And for the last couple months, I've been carrying around this little box cutter utility blade. It's cheap to print. I can replace the blade when it gets dull, but this works perfectly for me. Fits in my little wallet, and I always have it with me. So I don't have to worry about going on a flight or something like that. If they find it, they find it, and if they find it, I'll chuck it. It's 50 cents a buck worth of plastic. You can print them out pretty quick. I have quite a few of them. So I'd like to go through the process of how I got this design for my EDC. This is the first iteration. It kind of worked. The button got stuck constantly. It held a blade. It was a little big, so it was a good first try. Number two, I went the exact opposite way. Everything was too small and the tolerances were too tiny and while putting it together, the whole thing shattered. Number three was a little better, still way too tight, a lot smaller than the first one, a little bit more streamlined, but this thing, I got the blade in there and I don't know if I'm ever gonna get it out. This thing is so gummed up. Four, a lot better. I played around with some different depth stops and things like that, but there's this little piece back here that kept wanting to break and the depth stop didn't end up being worth it to me. So it was a good jump from three to four. It actually works. It's a much better size than the first one, but we had to keep going. For five, this was a fully just mechanical iteration. I got rid of some of the design elements just to print a quick uh, proof of concept. Um, I added some central areas for that halfway point that I ended up getting rid of just because it didn't help anyway. Um, but five was a nice way to see how small I could go. Six, started moving back towards this design. I like how it fits in the hand. It really just kind of grips well. Um, so it also has a more pronounced, more proud uh, thumb bump, thumb button, you'd say. Five was almost completely flush with the body, so it was really hard to like engage. Like You could push it out pretty easily, but getting it back in was kind of a chore. So six was the smoothest one yet. I kept a mid bump, like a mid section, so you could put it out halfway and it would lock. So it would lock in really securely this way. But no one, or at no point when I was testing and walking around with this thing, did I need an eighth of an inch of a blade sticking out. So I simplified it from here to get rid of that middle function. For seven, this was just a complete failure. Um, I missed an area of the print that I was supposed to cut so it doesn't even engage all the way. These little eyes that I put in to try to be all cute, uh, they suck to grab onto. They just kind of dig into your hand. So I quickly moved away from that to what ended up being the final design. Thinned out the button from six a little bit, just so your finger's less likely to get in there. Like you're not touching anything sharp, there's no sharp edges, but even the unsharpened edge of a utility blade isn't the most fun thing to run your finger across, so. Now these little eye sections become jimping, really grip into the hand a little bit without digging like that one did. This was kind of the final prototype that ended up becoming all of these. Um, to replace the blade, you simply push that button past where it wants to go and pull it out. You can flip the blade around, restick it into this piece here, and then you'll use that tongue to press down on the finger nub. And when that gets detented, you can slide everything in to the body and lock it in. And you're good to go. These little guys, I have thrown all around the shop. I could probably make 50 of these things and still be less money than even a cheap EDC knife. So that's where I'm at. I'm going to leave links in the description below. I'd love to see what colors people end up doing. It's my uh, budget EDC.